All right, Shalom. First of all, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Chok Wadash. Of course, double honor to that was an apostle, like a great millstone who ruled well. And Shalom, Wa Chasad, La Bachayarium, Shal Yashala. Of course, peace and mercy to the election of the nation of Israel. Uh, we are the brothers from Great Millstone, playing tables camp located here in Philly. Coming again with another lesson. Do the Rechak Wadash, this is the brother Yeshaya. And uh, my name is Amafa. Uh, just going to the spirit. Of course, double honors to those apostles at Great Millstone. Well, um, you know, and of course, we just going into the spirit. Uh, more talking about, you know, wisdom. All right, that's the, you know, principal thing, you know, with all that get and get understanding, which is uh, crucial, especially critical in the times which you're in, you know, where you have it, where, you know, a lot of Achim, El Zaconium, uh, uh, well, of course, uh, apostles, uh, Shalayach, um, uh, Yim, all right, uh, have done videos about, you know, this common famine of the word, all right? So, you know, right now, the most important thing is to do is get wisdom. So, I got the first scripture, and we're going to just go from there, whatever the Spirit brings out. Hopefully, it's not long, it's like it. This is um, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right. So, you know, I'm going to go to that scripture, Baha'u'llah, in the Hebrew, you know, just to go into it. In which, uh, you know, we, of course, uh, wisdom is like in a feminine sense. Okay. It's so, like unto a woman. So, I mean, it's like how Achim, you know, when you, of course, you know, you had the, the warm embrace of a woman. You know, uh, you know, it's nothing better. You know, same should be for this wisdom. All right, you should be always, uh, of course, uh, at the doors. You know, uh, as you know, it's written in the scriptures in the book of Sirach. Lord willing, you know, I'll, uh, you know, come across it and such. All right, you know, we in the times where you know this wisdom is going to be the stability of thy time. So Isaiah 33 and six and whatever precepts also you got, you just bring out the spirit too. Uh, so yeah, you got um, um, that word, yeah, chakama, which are chakama, as I pronounce it, that's wisdom, all right? Um, you have it, uh, it shall be the stability thy times, all right? So you have it um, for that word for uh, stability is amawana, all right? Which amawana is the, you would say, the actual root word of the etymology all right which that of course is faith all right and uh of course that deals with having confidence and such you know we you having uh confidence in your how about shim shy trusting in them all right that's gonna be what's gonna keep you stable you, know, you gotta be able to believe that your how about shy will do what he said he's gonna do which is in the scriptures okay. Okay. um <clears throat> this is ecclesiasticus chapter 2 verse 10 it says look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, you can go into that. Kind, like, um, we was reading in um, Isaiah, you know, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Why? Because we have the understanding of these scriptures. We have the understanding of how many men were in perilous times and were delivered by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, these are men of, of the Lord, men kind. of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They the ones that you know Yahweh Bashem Yahshai have a spiritual hedge over. All right, you know they gonna have that the why and such. All right, and that's what do getting this wisdom. All right, which we had that access through Yahweh Shai being that tree of life. Okay, you know uh, we of course ain't able to get uh, anything without of course uh, Yahweh Shai. All right, which uh, Yahweh all right uh, gave Yahweh Shai to the elect. All right, God. Right. Um. You got another precept? Con. Yeah, it's like what you were saying. Mm -hmm. This is um John chapter This is John chapter 3 verse 27. It says John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Right. So you say, you know, a man can't receive nothing unless it's given from him from heaven. All right, who in the Shemayim? We got uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so, you know, everything that we're receiving right now, that's due, of course, the authorization of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you have it where death and life is all controlled by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, also the wisdom. 
All right, you know, as uh, you got uh, James, I think it's James about if one seek wisdom, uh, uh, the Lord give it uprightly, or he doesn't waver basically. I think it's like James 1 or something like that. You know, the Akim should be, of course, uh, they should be asking uh, for wisdom, you know, continually. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahshai and the son of Yah, Rab Chachama, all right? You know, Yahweh Shem Yahshai and the son of Yah, give to me. Uh, Rob is more, and you have uh, which is uh, wisdom. All right, Akim should continually be uh, asking that, and of course, praying the Yahweh and believing that He'll give it. All right. This is uh, James chapter one verse five. It says, "If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given him." God, okay, yeah, the Lord Yahweh will give it freely to you. All right, you know because. You know, you being called, all right, to this this ministry, all right. He of course give this unto his uh, servants, all right. You know, what he gonna equip you, you know, to be able to endure what, of course, you gotta go through, all right. Because you have it, we have, of course being a uh, part of the hopefully elect. We have a, a heavy lot, a combined lot, you know, a destiny. You know, you have where we of course being future rulers of the whole nation, governing body. All right, the aristocrats, the best rule. All right, and you know, people are gonna look on to us for obviously answers, counsel. All right, and what we're gonna get all of that from wisdom. Okay. okay. It says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Yeah, you know, that one that wave, you know, you be all double-minded and stuff. You know, you you got you gotta really be firm, like it says uh, in the scriptures. You know, when you pray, you got to prepare thyself and such, you know. So, you know, once you want something, you got to pray and believe and, and actually expect to receive it. All right. And, you know, I, like how we, of course, pray that Yahweh Shem El Shai has not have chasar mercy upon us. You know, you got to pray that Yahweh Shem El Shai keeps the wisdom that you have, you know, to keep you stable as well. All right. Come on. Anything else? Come on. Yep. Uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. God. Yeah, so it says faith is the substance of things hoped for. You know, you having faith, all right, um, that's going to have you in the belief, all right, that you're going to get something that, you know, might be not visible before your eyes, all right? You know, you may, of course, be in the times where of trial, all right? Yahweh Hashem Shai got pressure on you. You ain't got no food. The RFID microchip, which is the market of visas, implements it, and you you don't know what to do. All you gotta do is trust in your Hab Hashem and He'll give all the needful things onto you. All right, you're supposed to seek the Lord first, and all things will be added onto you. All right. Got him. Reverse yeah. six it says, "But without faith, it is impossible to please Him, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him." Yeah, you can go into it. Kind, of, yeah, like with, if you don't have that faith that Yahweh Shem is going to reward you, like we not, you know, readily. Maybe brothers aren't readily seeing the the rewards of our labor, you know, per se. But we have faith that, you know, at a certain point in time, we're going to receive that reward. We have faith in Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Yeah. That we're going to receive the reward for our labors. Yep. Even though we might not be seeing it in this present day and time. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, let me get a precept. You, you finish on that? Or? Yeah, that was yeah. it. Uh, let me see. Uh, forget the fool. Uh, let me see. So I can, uh, Talking about six and ten. Labor of work. Yeah. Love. Yeah, yeah, get that to Uh This is... This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. It says, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Yeah, well, you know, we, we give it up to the saints, the Israelites, the elect of them. All right, the Lord is not, he not, he not forgetful of this labor of love. So, you know, in the times of, you know, you might be under, of course, uh, persecution, harassment. All right, you might be in the times of death. You got to believe that Yahweh Hashem is going to fight for you. That the Lord gonna feed you, he's gonna clothe you, and he gonna of course also um, keep uh, protection around you. You know that spiritual hedge, all right. And he ultimately gonna deliver you out of Babal, Babylon, or wherever you've been scattered to, all right. Because these are all promises that Yahweh Shemashai gave unto his elect, all right. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie, all right. Let every man be a liar, but let the Most High be true, you know. So, 
you know, you had to really believe in what the Lord says, all right? And that is going to take you to a whole nother level where, like I said, it's going to be at a time when that spiritual power is, um, you know, made manifest, all right? Which we have, like like Aki always say, Aki and, of course, Apostle, we have it on a lower end right now. You know, to be going into these precepts and stuff, just all due to spirit, you know, that's powerful. They had to understand and just wake up. You was a, you was, you was a one day a nigga. Now, you know, you woke up and you, you have a Shemesh dealing with you. You could break down these scriptures. That, that's of course a, a blessing. All right. And that's a miraculous thing. All right. Come on. You can go on something. Let me just uh, close the window real quick. I mean, it's Alright, right, back again. Alright, uh, you got anything else? No, no. Alright, so, um, yeah, you know, we go, you know, just basically making a point that this wisdom is, 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 like, is, is everything. Alright? You, you gonna need it, okay? Um, you could get me, uh, 1 Kings 4 and 29, I believe it is. Yeah. This is um, 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 29. It says, And the Most High gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and large, largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. Right. So you have it where uh, King Malak, uh, Solomon, all right, King Solomon, which is the wisest man that ever walked the earth. All right. If you could receive it, that was uh, one of Yahweh Shai's uh, reincarnations. Uh, all right. One of the flesh in which he lives he walked in okay uh you have it where he um he he asked for wisdom and the lord gave it to him okay um you can read it again okay this is um first kings chapter 4 verse 29 it says and the most high gave solomon wisdom and ex understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart even as the sand that is on the seashore right that's a that's a huge portion all right which you know you have a shy you know, he basically uh, been ministered uh, by Yahweh, the Most High gave him, because that's Yahweh's word, all right? So just like that, of course, have occurred. Yahweh, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, ba Yahweh, Shai, all right, do Yahweh Shai, we have this wisdom, all right, access to it, in which we get that much, all right, huge portion of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, which is uh, important. You know, if you have it, uh, Solomon, you know, he asked for all the other things that, you know, uh, well, you have it where he, he acts with just that, and then everything else was added on to him. That shows you what's most important, okay? What's most important is getting this wisdom, okay? Everything else will get added on to you, all right? This is what ma is going to is make us actually precious. You know, all these other niggas got every other thing, you know, in the world and such, all right? But do they got this wisdom, all right? Which leads on to life and such. Quick precept. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Kind. Kind. And by, uh, the way brothers are seeking the kingdom is first, first and foremost, is seeking the, uh, the wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, the knowledge of the scriptures, you know, because you can't seek the kingdom without having the understanding of, of this breakdown, the, this gospel, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep, which that, that understanding comes from a, on high and such, you know. And like I say, you're going to need that to be able to go through the turmoil which you're going to go through. But you have to reflect back to the wisdom and the scriptures which say, hey, you know, uh, the Lord going to, you know, he he, he, uh, he going to fight my battles for me. Uh, different various things in the scriptures. Whatever that Satan is going to throw at you because you know you're going to have spiritual Satan. He's going to get he gonna get turned up and be out here. You know, of course, you had a physical demon Satan, all right, being Esau, Edom, all right. Which is known as this, uh, the the, uh, the so-called white people. All right, they're actually Edomites. Okay, the red Hebrew Edomites. All right, um, they're gonna be out here, and you had a spiritual demon. You know, it's gonna be apparitions and stuff. You know, it's gonna be different. Um, of course, uh, trials, pressure that's put on you from, you know, uh, your mind, which Satan. You know, he operates uh, in that mind. You know, he try to plant different seeds for you to believe and doubt, or actually not believe to actually have doubt in what's written in the scriptures. All right. And he comes with you when you, uh, you know, he try to come at you when you weak and stuff, you know. That's why, you know, part of being uh, that I'm a one 
is being um is uh stern what is it in the definition let me just go back to it uh for for uh the amawana baha bariath when they say stability we're going back to this hebrew word amawana which uh, uh shall be the stability it says firmness fidelity steadfastness and um and uh you have uh yeah, that's basically it. Firmness, fidelity, all right, and steadfast, steadiness. Yeah, you know something that's firm as a rock. Come on. Yep. Come on. Yep. Uh, this is Luke. <clears throat> so, this is Luke chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-one. It says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to sift, to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Mm -hmm. Come on. And if you go into that word sift, I think it's um siniazo, which means inward agitation of your mind. Yep. You know, but. Through the through the knowledge of these scriptures, we we have like we have the stability. You know, yep. we're not our our faith is not being overthrown. Yeah. Uh, verse thirty two says, "But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren." Yeah. So Yahweh was praying that Peter's faith fail not, because mm -hmm. that's what keeps us going. Our faith, you know, our hope in yeah. Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. Once you lose that, man, it's it's over for you. Yeah. You got all type of demons. They gonna come in. All right, and uh and, and literally consume you. You know, because like I say, this wisdom is a spiritual hedge that's over you, protecting you from, you know, the wiles of fiery darts of the devil. You got that. Let me try getting that scripture too. You know, uh, yep, kind. Of. You know, so, you know, this wisdom is that literally everything. You know, you know, it's it's the kingdom that's within us. You know, I just see how we shot. You know, you know who's the word and such. All right, you know which this word is very powerful. Okay. Kind of. I got a precept. Just bear with us. This is um, Ephesians chapters, chapter six, verse sixteen. It says, Ab "Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked." All right. So you know that's that faith. You know you gotta have that faith. All right. It's that faith is gonna going It's that belief and trust in Yahweh Shai. That's gonna, that's gonna keep you firm. That's gonna allow you to go against the fiery darts of Satan, of the devil. All right, you know the the Satan, spiritual demon Satan in your mind. All right, anytime that you know the Satan comes in your mind, you know you'll give him. A, you got a precept that come up. Well, the scriptures say this. You know, as uh, you can bring. You know that account where Yahweh was. Uh, he was uh, tested. He was in forty days and forty nights. Okay. Yeah, you bring up that account. All right. Because, like I say, this is our power. Our power is actually, you know, uh, having this wisdom I understand from the scripture, all right? The actual pequadium, the precepts, all right? Uh, this is Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Then was Jehovah Shai led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Mm -hmm. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. Right. And now you're going to be, when you, when you fast, your flesh is going to be, of course, afflicted, all right? You're afflicting yourself, all right? But what you do, what actually occurs within your spirit, it becomes stronger, all right? Because, you know, you abstain it from these physical things and the spirit gets stronger, all right? You start to, um, you know, realize that, look, food ain't really that important because, look, I, the Lord is sustaining me right now, all right? Come on. It says, and when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of the most high, command that these stones be made bread. It says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. Right. So that's that's the way the way the, uh, how we gonna live. We gonna live. We live, right now to this day until the end. And and every oh I will am we gonna live by what's written in the scriptures. All right. We gonna serve you how by Shem Al Shai with all fear and trembling. All right. You know, man should not live by physical bread. Lacham. All right. In the Hebrew, which is bread, but every word. All right. That, that, that's that spiritual manna, all right, which is Yahweh Shai and such, all right? We, you know, he's the bread uh, that's come down from heaven. He feeding us all of this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. That's what we're going to live by and keep us sustained. All right, so when Satan came to Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he um, broke it down to him. All right, keep going. You want me to keep going? Uh, yeah, yeah, Baba uh, Verse 5 says, Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, right. and saith unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, mm -hmm. lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Right, so, you know, Satan, he come with a precept, 
you know, hey, you 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 say you're the son of the most high. All right, well, go ahead and jump off this. You know, the Lord, the Lord, the, you know, the Lord have his angels over charge of you. So at least, he, you know, cast you up or, or you know, again, dash, I roughly, it's like a roughly, I, I butchered it. You can read it again. Okay. Um, it says, Dash thyself against the stone. It says, And say then to him, If thou be the Son of the Most High, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Right. You don't, you don't hurt yourself. All right. So going on. It says, Yahweh shall say unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt Yahweh thy power. Yeah, so you ain't supposed to tempt Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the Lord. All right. Go on. It says, again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world. Right. So you got all the different various kingdoms and stuff, you know, seeing, of course, the all of the rulerships and everything, you know, uh, you know, the, from the Persian, the Medes, the the, uh, the Greeks. And of course, you got the Romans and such, which I wish I walked during the time of the Romans. OK, ruling. OK, which are Edomites. OK. It says, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, mm -hmm. and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Right. Which that's what Shaitan wants us to do. Okay. You know, the spiritual demon Satan, all right, which is a left hand side son of God, wants us to worship him, all right, to reverence him and not Yahweh Shem El Shah. Because, you know, we know that one of the main commandments in the scriptures, when you go back to uh, the book of Exodus, chapter 20. It tells you um, this. This is Exodus chapter 20. All right. And uh, uh, starting at verse um, 5. And it, actually, I'm going to start at the top. It says, In the most high Yahweh Shem El Shai uh, spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy power, which had brought thee out of the land of Matazarium, out of the house of bondage. All right. So it's the Lord. He's speaking unto the, the of course, uh, the, the, of course, uh, the Israelites. Verse two, it says, "Thou shalt have no other gods before me." Satan is a uh, is a is a uh, is a, a, a god. All right, on the left hand side. Okay, he's an angel. All right, the word uh, 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 you said uh, God just means uh, Allah. All right, which is power. All right, you know. No, this is a lowercase God, all right? We ain't supposed to, of course, have any other gods before him. Now, verse 5, it says, Thou shalt not bow thy, down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power. All right, so the Lord is a jealous power. And we are, of course, uh, you know, we, we are the woman espoused unto um, our Lord, you know? Mary joined unto our Lord, you know? Um, so, thus, if we, of course, do so, worship Satan, Okay, go outside of the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Shem El Shai, uh, participate, eat of the fruits of these other philosophies. We are literally cheating and committing, as you say, spiritual adultery, which is spiritual fornication, all right, against Yahweh Shem El Shai. He's going to be, of course, angry with us. That's why we're in the state we're in right now, all right? But that was all brought by Yahweh Shem El Shai, all right? Okay. Come on. So, you know, we ain't supposed to bow down ourselves, all right? No reverence and worship, the, you know, Satan, et cetera, et cetera. All right, and when you, of course, are being, as it says, uh, uh, sin of rebellion, is as the, uh, you know that one? Yeah, yeah get, get that real quick. Yeah, yep. I think that's the shy of the heat. Let me check real quick. Maria. Maria. This is um First Samuel chapter fifteen verse twenty three says for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Right, you see that it's a multitude of sins as idolatry. All right, because you're serving an idol. Okay, and we're not supposed to of course serve idols. We're supposed to of course worship Yahweh by Shemel Shai, not wood and stone. Okay, um again in that rebellion, which is uh, in the Hebrew, you got. Yeah, here in Maria, all right, from of course, uh, yeah, Mar, 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 Mara, all right, which is rebellion to be contentious. You basically be a disobedience. You making war with the man of war, all right. Yeah, how about Shem Al Shah? That's that's foolishness. I always bring that point out. You know why are you gonna go against the man of war? You know, 
Yeah, that's that's actually that you you literally set set yourself up for for self destruction. All right, so that for the sin of rebellion is kind of as the uh, sin of witchcraft. All right, so when you rebel, you're basically a witch. All right, you're doing all sorts of fucking sorcery and such. Okay, left hand side things. Okay, so you know if you believe in these other philosophies and such, you're doing that. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is Matthew's four and um. I'm um, starting nine. It says, And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Mm -hmm. Then saith Yahweh, Yahweh shy unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power, mm -hmm. and him only shalt thou serve. Right. You know, referring back to, you know, we brought that Exodus out. All right, Yahweh shy. You know, he's saying that you supposed to, he's supposed to serve Yahweh. All right, his father. All right, and that's it. None else. All right. Come on. Any precepts uh, or anything yeah, you want yeah, to add? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say real quick, like mm -hmm. a lot. The the main reason are people worship these other gods because they think it's profitable somehow. You know, yeah. they like like Satan was offering Yahweh side certain things. Mm -hmm. These they think these gods, these these yeah, idols, idols are, gonna give them yeah, some kind of profit. profit yeah. yeah, but they ain't getting out of it. Like these, these, we be seeing these Muslim dudes yeah. out all day. They, yeah, they ain't, they ain't, ain't profiting nothing, nothing yeah. now, man. They out there on the street selling oil. Carnal <laughs> things, man. yeah. They barely getting yeah. by, man. You know, we looking at them like, yo, like, y'all crazy. Like, because first of all, the whole earth, this, this whole, all this shit is just temporal anyway, you know, and it's going to pass away. So it's like, even if you get a little couple of dollars and stuff, look, that's going to pass away. Especially you knowing niggas who don't have, who lack uh, discretion, all right? You know, they, they, they of course, uh, you know, they all about, hey, I didn't secure the bag. Let me go, uh, let's go ball out, you know? These niggas just smoke hookah and eat halal, you know? <laughs> This is uh, Psalm chapter 119, verse 50. It says, This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. Right, which uh, quicken mean to make alive, all right, or chaya, all right, in the Hebrew. Which is, all right. Huh? I think that was it. Yeah, I'll read it again. It's like Khan, this is Psalm chapter 119, verse 50. It says, This is my comfort in my affliction, for mm -hmm. thy word hath quickened me. Yeah, which this wisdom is what makes us alive, all right? You know? It's this wisdom that makes us alive, all right? And this is going to be our comfort, all right? Uh, you say, with well, wisdom and knowledge and understanding means stability of time. That's an easy precept to go to back that up, all right? This is our comfort because within it, the Yahweh Shem HaShahim left us uh, comfortless. He left us the comfort, okay, which is okay. the, the spirit of the scriptures, the scriptures, okay? Which uh, you can get, you know that one? Which the comforter. I shall send you, leave you not comfortless. Uh, leave you, yeah, I'll find it for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, John 14, and uh, it's like John 14, I got like 18, let me see how that, you could start at, uh, yeah, start 16, John, John 14. So. This is John chapter 14, verse 16, it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever. Let me look up that word for comforter real quick, just to, you know, uh, get some more understanding, all right? Uh, you got for comforter. Um, you got here, in the widest sense, a helper, secure, aid, or assistant. All right, go on. Okay. Uh, verse seventeen. It says, "Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, right. because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and he shall be in you." Mm -hmm. it says, "I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you." Yep. It's you want me to keep on? Yeah. It says, Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me because I live, ye shall live also. Kind, you know, and you know, through, of course, this uh, comfort which Yahweh Bashan and Shai left us. Uh, you, get, you got the spirit of the scriptures, you got the Rechak Kodash within us, you know. We able to, of course, sustain and stay up, you know. Whenever, of course, we're done, we, of course, go into the scriptures. All right, so in the times of Jacob Trouble, what's going to be flowing through our mind is the scriptures, the precepts. That's all we think about anyway. Well, I mean, like I said, uh, let me see, um, let me see, like we, you know, when we go about our day, all is nothing but we think about spiritual things, precepts and stuff. Though there's carnal things you might think in your head, but for the most part, it's all spiritual, you know, because we spiritual men, all right? Um, let me see if I had a precept on that real quick. Um, uh, yeah, this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 16. And in 23, it says, He that wanteth understanding will think upon vain things, 
and a foolish man err and imagine follies. My son, hearken unto me and learn knowledge and mark my words with thy heart. Right. So we supposed to mark your words in our mind. All right. Which is literally we got to imprint the names of Yahweh Hashem Yashai within us. All right. You know, so all we think about is Yahweh Hashem Yashai, especially in Jacob Trouble. When you got all hell break loose, you you going you going to um, be referring back to who your rock is and such. And that's Yahweh Hashem Yashai, who of course you should you say Yahweh Hashem Yashai or my salvation is. All right. You gonna think of Yahweh Hashem Yashai? You got any preset? Uh, I think here you go. You got it. You can get it. If you get enough. I'm going to bring out this one. This is uh, the book of uh, 2 Samuel chapter 22. All right. And I'm going to start at uh, 1. It says here in Dawada. All right. It's David. I mean, beloved, speak unto. And we are part of that. By Dawada, the house of David. Okay. Lord willing. All right. It says, he in Dawada, speak unto Yahweh. The words of this song in the day that Yahweh had delivered him out of the hand of his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. It says, and he said, Yahweh is my rock and my foundation, or my fortress, like you, and my deliverer. Okay? It says, Yahweh by Shem Shai, he says, the God of my rock. In him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. Okay? So you have it that thou would die, Malak thou would die, King David, which if you can receive is also Peter. All right? He's the rock, uh, the head of the church. All right? You know, he said that, of course, that the Lord is his rock, his salvation, his fortress. All right? You know? That's, that's, that's of course, all protection and such. Thou savest me from violence. All right? The time of what? Jacob trouble. When all hell break loose, it's going to be Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. It's going to be our rock. All right, which that word rock you got here, uh, you know, uh, it just got uh, the Hebrew word tazawar, all right, tazawar. Um, it just, uh, you got on here, it just say rock, that's it. But, you know, you know that rock is strong, you know, and you have it, your Habash and Mashiach is unbreakable. Kind of got preset. Oh, kind of. This is uh, Lamentations <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 25. It says, Yahweh is good unto. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It says it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. Okay. And that's what Akim are doing, you know, in these days and times. You know, we're patiently waiting for the return of our Lord Yahweh Shia. And we're pat patiently waiting for the salvation of Yahweh, you know, where he delivers deliver, delivers us out of this hell, you know. Yeah, out of Babylon, Mayan Babal, you know, uh, Yahweh Shem Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai, Noah, you know, deliver us. Mayan uh, Babal, you know, from Babylon or wherever we've been scattered to because it's going to be deliverance from all these various nations where the Israelites are scattered, you know? Okay. Okay. You know, so read that again, Baba Kishore. Okay. This is um, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. It says, Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to mm -hmm. the soul that seeketh him. Yeah, so you got to have patience, you know? You got to be able to, uh, which patience is... Being having me able to suffer, long suffering and stuff, you know, you gotta be able to be patient, you know, which that's just another trying on your faith, you know. Why not right now while we're we're, we're going through this shot wall, this little state, been put in this little state. That's what Yahweh by Shimon Shai be testing our patience and stuff. He growing us up, he making us hard, you know, to be able to endure, you know, the, the times that we come ahead. You know, when something happens occur, you know, like I said, all hell break loose. All right, you gotta lose your job. All right, fuck it. Yahweh Shimon Shai is my rock. He gonna take care of me. He get the, he gonna give me the of course the, the kasabi and the money or you know he gonna give me the uh, uh, my call you know my food and such all right he gonna of course uh, make sure I'm I'm safe but talk you know you gotta really start to think like that you gotta really and really lock in it right now and meditate on it right now you know while of course uh, you know all hell ain't break loose yet you know but the Lord gonna put you and do various trials and stuff where. You know, you're going to be in a stage, you're going to call on the name of Yahweh Shem Hashai. He's going to really show himself, you know, to you that he gonna, he's the way out of all the different turmoils which you go through. Okay. All right. It said, verse, verse 26 says, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. Okay. Yeah, you got to be able to have hope. All right. Which, uh, you know, you go into that faith and stuff, which is the substance of things that haven't been seen and stuff, roughly paraphrasing and stuff. You know, so you got to actually hope 
and wait. But that that's been locking in. You being as you know as a visionary prophet, you be able to see yeah, how about Shimon Shai going, you know how is Shai he gonna deliver me out of this situation? I know he gonna do it. He said he will, and he gonna do it. So he will. All right, you gotta believe that he is. Kind of like with a lot of dudes, like they don't have that. They don't have that. Their faith isn't strong enough where they get into a situation where everything is going wrong for them. They'll pray for it, you know, pray to be delivered. And mm -hmm. it seems like they not being delivered out of the situation. And they lose, they lose their faith completely. Mm -hmm. Their faith is overthrown, like it said in um, Luke. You know yeah. how Satan was trying to overthrow Peter's faith. You know, yep. their faith is overthrown because it, it appeared like Yahweh wasn't going to deliver them. Right. So their faith was overthrown. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, like you can't like it say um in the scriptures um you know by the, the you live, not by by sight by faith you know that okay. Okay. yeah he can bring that barbecue shop real quick no it's basically you know we going into wisdom and like I said this wisdom is everything all right so you know it, it fits every you know fit everything that y'all about to shot gonna do for us okay. Uh, this is um second corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 it says for we walk by faith not by sight right so we walk by faith not by sight you know by you know of course you know that firmness that trust in you how about shimel shy all right that he dealing with us all right he's serving you know uh he feeding us uh, servants all right of how shy that he actually love and care for us all right yeah, you got you got to keep your faith no matter what happens. You might be a situation where you lose your job and you can't pay your bills, right. and you about to get evicted out of your house. You right. praying y'all yeah. about shit outside that you uh -huh. don't get evicted, yeah. and you do get evicted. Right, that dude' faith yeah, is, yeah. is gone. Right, no, you got to keep trusting y'all about shit outside. They gonna eventually provide you with with a place to sustain you or yeah. a way so you can live your life. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, dudes pray for something, they don't get it, they mm -hmm. faith is yeah. their faith is gone. Yeah, yeah, you really, you ain't listening to me, man. <laughs> I lost I lost my job, I yeah. lost my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their yeah. faith is gone, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, like I just speak for myself, man. You know, having it come in the truth and stuff, you know. You know, we, we be uh, quick with our mouths and stuff, man. You know, family come up against us and stuff, you get you know, basically you kicked out your house and stuff, you know. Lose your, your family, your your mom. Yeah, I mean, not your, you lose your uh, your mom, your woman, and all that too. I mean, I literally was put in a situation where I had to believe y'all by shooting shot gonna deal with me. And literally, when I walked out the door, it was just like, I I in my spirit, I knew that uh, you know, I just take things a day at a time. You know, the Lord gonna give me my daily bread, and as long as I believe in what the scriptures say, I'm gonna get through it. And literally, I'm in a better state. I mean, I I was. You know, in the world under my mom's wing and stuff came in the truth. You know, and, and been brought up as a man and stuff now. You know, a young Nayar, all right, and a young man and stuff. You know, your youth. Um, that done built me up to the point where, like, I'm like, I know if when when the time they uh, he got me in this place, if when it come to time when I have to leave this place, I could go do it. And Yahweh by Shem gonna sustain me because I already had that experience and went through that. Okay. All right, which that's. You know what um Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is doing for us. He's giving us a different experience to of course to test us, to try us, all right, to make us more purge out all of that weakness, that weak mind, that old man who's like, oh down, oh, oh I never well, I never did this before. Oh I can't I can't uh, I can't no, the Lord taking out all that I can't, you know, is I can. In Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know, I could do all things do Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You know, who strengthened me and stuff, roughly paraphrase and stuff, you know? And that, nothing is impossible in, with Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, you got to believe these things, okay? Because like I said, it's going to be people right in your face. You got the, uh, you know, elect, all right, of the elect. Lord willing, we be a part of the elect, you know, 144 prophets. You're going to have people that's going to be looking at you, how you going to react. They're going to be seeking counsel on you. Well, well, what should we do? And then, like I said, you got to be that rock. You got to be strong. I mean, we be lively stones anyway, all right? So a stone is hard, man. I'm movable. We got to be steadfast and stuff, firm, all right? Um, get uh, Baba Kisha, uh this uh, is Matthew 6, and uh, start at... Uh, you can start at... Um, Start at 21. Okay. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. All right, actually, it's like you start at 18. Okay. 
This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 18. It says, That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Right. So, you know, and the Lord seeing all our works. All right. There's things that I can do. You know, we ain't boastful. Okay. You know, we don't go and say, Hey, look what I done did to the act. I done gave him a couple of dollars. I done did this and that. I done looked, I gave him a place to shit. No, you just do it because that's brotherly love. That's what we call for, you know, to be charitable. Okay? Kind. Okay. It says, um, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt mm -hmm. and where thieves break through and steal. Right. Yeah, so, you know, you ain't supposed to really invest in this side right here. Like, meaning, all right, you all think about Babylon, continue, and, the, you know, this whole thing going to be set up. I'm going to be living here uh, 20 years to 30 years, 50 years from now. You're supposed to be thinking about getting out of Babylon, all right, fleeing this place. You know, believing in Yahweh Shah that he coming to destroy this place, all right? And very soon, all right? Which he destruction in this place. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Right, so, you know, you're supposed to lay up your treasures with Yahweh Shah, all right? Which, you know, you have it, having that strong faith in him, all right? You know, uh, all the different works. That's what you're supposed to be, of course, storing up. You know, spiritual things, all right? Not carnal things. You got dudes that's literally out there prepping. All right, I'm going to go get 18 tons of beans, and I'm going to get these pallets of water, and we're going to make sure we uh, had the bunker so that the things can be all stable. We ain't going to be able to be penetrated. That's that's weak. Somebody like that is a weak-minded person. You got to just think, that how about Shem and Asha going to take care of me? Even if, like I said, I don't see a fucking... A shield, like I'm holding a shield, like a literally physical shield. You got to see that spiritual shield, all right? You know, that you got to have that whole armor, you know, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, for, <clears throat> so I'm going to read 20 again. It mm -hmm. says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moss nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Mm -hmm. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right. So if our treasure is locked in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and this is uh, mouth is truth. That's where our heart, that's where our mind's going to be. You know, it's going to be locked in and, and thinking constantly about the wisdom, but your yeah, knowledge and understanding what's in the scriptures, okay? You know, that's where you're going to be. You ain't going to be in, but think about all oh, Babylon and all into, oh, my girl, oh, she ain't, you know, this and this. Oh, my, my relationship failing and all this shit. You'll be thinking about, look, Babylon is failing. I better be right. With you, how about Shabbat 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 so that I can be, be protected? That's what you're gonna be you're gonna be focused on. All right, you gotta focus on the spiritual. You know, you know I'm doing right with the Akim. You know, am I contributing? You know, these are the things that you gotta focus on. All right, these things are uh, are um, eternal and stuff. You know, they're gonna you know the things that we building up, we receiving. You know, these days we gonna be with for the rest of our life, which is the truth. You know, this is this is the paradise. This is the wisdom I was understanding. All right, good. Um, yeah, you could probably got some more on there too. Um, go to uh, go down to uh, you can start at verse twenty-five. Come on, this is Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-five. It says, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat? In the body than raiment, right? Which you know you get that understanding when Yahweh, like Yahweh Shai, told you that um, when we had read that scripture about um, uh, no man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth. All right, that's what that's why that's why you gotta care about it. All right, read that again. Come on. This is Matthew chapter six verse twenty five. Says therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Mm -hmm. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Right. Life is more than just uh, uh, your food, physical food, and your physical clothes. All right? It's the spirit, the rechah that's within you. All right? It says, Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Mm -hmm. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not, more, not much better than they? Right. We, we, of course, being uh, the nation of Israel, the Lord's chosen people, these are just nothing but beasts and stuff, 
all right? That's the Lord created for our sakes, all right? In perfect balance. We are more important. We are Yashale, uh, the princes of the power. So, I mean, aren't we more important to the Most High? We are the apple of the Most High's eye as such, all right? We're his, uh, you know, his jewels, okay? Which he's making up. It says, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? Mm -hmm. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they, how they grow. Right. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all, his, in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, mm -hmm. shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Right. So the Lord is going to make sure we good because we more important all right, than all these other things. Okay. Especially us being, of course, of the elect, Lord willing. God. It says, therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Yeah, so you ain't supposed to be thinking about what you're going to eat and all this other stuff. You're not supposed to be thinking about what you're going to say when, of course, these uh, martial law troops come. And, you know, we, of course, are being uh, tried before all these different uh, leaders and such, you know. You're just supposed to focus on your Abba Shabbat Shah. He's going to give you everything. All right. Um, yeah, real quick. This is uh, uh book of uh, Revelation, uh, chapter 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days for a period of time. For thou faithful, it says, for, for it says, be thou faithful, all right? You got to be firm, you got to be stable, you know? For have faith, you know? Unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right, you know he gonna y'all by Shimon Shai give you, of course that what that 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 crown of life, which really we gonna have the, the highest uh, rulership amongst the nations of Israel, judging all the twelve tribes of Israel, judging the angels. All right, judging these heathen. All right, that's what you really want. Okay, so if you see that we you have to depend on Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Shimon Shai for everything. Okay, literally. All right, that's why it says here in verse twenty five. It says but. That which ye have already, which we have this truth, we have this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. All right, uh, it says, "Hold fast till I come." And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. All right, you know, so we got to be able to endure it to the end. All right, that's when we actually get that salvation. When you get beamed up, you know, taken up in the chair, that's that salvation. That's what you want. All right, nobody saved yet. Okay, you still got to go through these things. Okay. Uh, is there anything else on that? Uh, I think that was it. All right. Um, now, um, get uh, real wash. Uh, get Proverbs sixteen sixteen. This is Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse sixteen. It says, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Right. So you see that the real rich and wealth is what? Is having this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. All right. And this wisdom, like I say, is everything. I just like saying that. It's everything. The wisdom, knowledge, understanding is everything. It's more valuable than all the riches in the world. All right. You know, that's why also it said, um, uh, in the scriptures, uh, it says uh, back in that that Revelation two and um, and and nine, it says, "I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Be rich in this truth." Okay, that's the real riches. That's what you need. That's the real uh, math kasapium. You know the real. You know the truthful money and stuff. You know the real silver. All right. And it says, "I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, are, and are not." And they, but they are the synagogue of Satan. You got these false Israelite groups and such. You know, they, they claim to be Israelites, you know, meaning like they under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, they anointed. But really, they don't, of course, have this faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because when you really put these other Hebrew Israelite groups, a lot of these other Israelites that fell out the faith and they doing their own thing and stuff, you know, when they put to that, 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 that thin microscope, you see that really they only trust in themselves. They don't trust in Yahweh Shai, all right? 
you know, because really, like I said, you got the sound men, you know, that's, that got the wisdom, they leading you right. They watching over your souls. And then when you go off and you thinking you got, you, you above them and stuff, I mean, like I said, you go in and trust and lean on your own understanding somehow. They get in doubt because that comes with a seed of doubt from Satan. That's in put, implanting that in your mind and stuff. Oh, uh, no, nah, these can't be the men. Nah, you got it. How is Shot dealing directly with you now? You, you got the names. Well, you got the names through men and stuff. You got the wisdom through men, which you how shy or date. You how about she not shy or date? All right. So I mean, like I say, it's a lot of that. That 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 that, that, that number one thing for you, Akim, is the the the, the, the far, far, uh, to keep far from you that that appearance of evil. You know, keep shatan away from you, wickedness. That plants see, doubt in your mind, and that could, of course, lead you to destruction, make you going off. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, let me see. Also, uh, uh get uh real quick, socket. Uh, you go to Prographer and go get um. Um, start at Sorak Six and. You could go to verse 18. This is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 6, verse 18. Mm -hmm. It says, My son, gather instruction from thy youth up. Right. So shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. Right. So right now, you should be able to get this uh, right now. Right? Which you got the precept. Get that, uh, what's that? The Ecclesiastes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Real quick. It's, it tells you that in, in Sirach 4, that wisdom exalted her children and layeth hold of them that seek her. You know, so if we are the children of the Most High. We should, we will be raised up through having this wisdom. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse one. It says, "Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, right? While the evil days come not, right? Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them." Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right now, in thy youth, you know, you should, of course. You know, be seeking out this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Because when all hell break loose, like I said, man, breaking bread, that's going to be difficult to do. You know, Jake coming. Oh, I know you was in the Israel. I knew you. See, you, <laughs> see what I can, I knew you used to go out there. I remember you were talking the truth, but I was just, I was all into, you know, um, you know, uh, I was, I was pursuing my rap career and all this. There ain't going to be no time for that. I mean, having a, you saw it with a fucking bullet flying over my head. You sitting there trying to break, I'm trying to break bread with you. I'm not only trying to do that. You gonna have different people, mercenaries, and people who gonna be coming after us. All that type of stuff gonna be happening. It's gonna be the so-called white man coming out like a madman, sparing none and stuff. You know, spoiling and destroying them that believe. You know, roughly paraphrases and stuff. You know, so we gonna be catching hell. You know, uh, but we gonna have that protection. All right, because we gonna go through the Jacob trouble with all the, uh, the two thirds and the rest of the heathen. But the only difference is is gonna be that the righteous. All right, they're going to scarcely enter the kingdom. We're going to go through it, but the Lord's going to have us hedged. We're going to be eaten. We're going to be sustained. How about going to feed us not only with uh, the, the physical bread, but also the bread coming down from heaven. It's wisdom and understanding. All right, that's why it's good to, of course, stay and keep your eyes single on this truth. All right, this is everything. All right, go on. Uh, read that again and then go ahead. Yeah. Okay. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 6, verse 18. Mm -hmm. says, My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thou, thine old age. Mm -hmm. says, Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, and wait for her good fruits. For thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. Mm -hmm. So hold up. Get this, uh, uh, this precept. Uh, get uh, uh, 2 Peter 1 and 10. You know, so you gotta, as as it's saying, you gotta come, you gotta be, um, you gotta put that as the scriptures. I'm gonna let the scripture explain itself and then break it down. This is uh, Second Peter chapter one, verse ten. It says, "Wherefore the the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, mm -hmm. for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall." Right. So you know, when you being diligent, that's you know you're doing that constant effort. All right, from uh, the Greek, which is spudazel uh, or pudazazo which means uh, to haste, all right, to give, to exert oneself, all right? You know, it's like you in the gym, you banging it up against a bag, 
Are you in a gym? You know, you might be wrestling or something like that. You're going for a takedown. You know, you, you, you of course, trying to secure, you know, side control position, whatever, you know, in the, in the, in the sense of jiu-jitsu, MMA and stuff. You know, that's, of course, that you exert yourself in that. You know, which exert, when you go into it, the word exert, uh, I got off of dictionary.com. It says to put forth uh, our use as power, exercise, and ability of influence, our influence. All right? Which, I mean, if we get in uh, this with this uh, influence, you know, um, but you breeding that breathe that breath on us, you know, this wisdom, all right, you should be putting everything into this, okay? You know, which is a vigorous action, all right? It, uh, it says to put oneself into strenuous, vigorous effort or, eff or uh, uh, action or effort, you know? So, you know, that's why we want to make our call and election sure. By, of course, like as is saying, come unto her, all right, as one that ploweth and soweth and wait for her good fruits, all right, because you got to be patient. A lot of uh, the elders and stuff, when they first came out, you know, a lot of people probably walked by and said, whatever. It, it had took a time, about a time before a lot of the fruit came in. Okay. And you see it, you know, same, you, we can speak about our camp and stuff, you know, our, you know, the camp even before I even entered, you know, it was only, it looked like a couple Akim. You know, uh, and then now it's like almost a 10 camp Akim, you know, a ten, a, 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 or in the brotherhood or, you know, camp or, or what's that, Machana, I believe in the Hebrew for camp, I believe, you know, and it ain't about that, you know, it's about, all right, do you really got this wisdom, all right, you know, because we will be made, made, we will be men that are of a like mind, Lord willing be of that, uh, that first fruits, all right. You know, to have this, okay, this wisdom, that this would be our first love and such. All right? So I want to look also up the word for sure, and then I'm going to let the uh continue on and go to verse 22. Okay. Just lock you for the noise. It says, for sure, uh, you got the ba ba the bales, which it means for sure. Bebadas or Bebadas, which means stable and fast and firm. All right, so you understanding that that wisdom, knowledge, standing, style, be this ability, that time. All right, and you, the way you're gonna have that is being diligent, okay, to make your call and like you're sure. Because we don't know if we have all the like many are called, but few are chosen. The way to secure that is to really be putting everything into this. All right, okay. so go down to 22. <clears throat> this is Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 22. It says, for wisdom is a court. Oh, did you want me to? Actually, I was, I left yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 20. It says, she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. Right, so you got dudes that fell off, you know. Um, this wisdom has been what something that's very unpleasant unto them. You know, they might have been disenchanted by something the elders and apostles brought out. You know, a brother, of course, may of course offended them, and they just didn't trust that the Lord will make everything work out. So, you know, you have it where um, it says that he he that is without understanding will not remain in her, because also it tell you that um, that wisdom shall not stay enter into uh, you know a malicious soul something of that nature. This is uh, the wisdom wisdom of Solomon chapter four, one and four. It says uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh, actually three. It says for forward thoughts separate from the Most High. And his power, it says, uh, it says, before thoughts separate from God and his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. It says, for unto a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. All right? For the Holy Spirit of Rechakul Dash of discipline will flee to see and remove from the thoughts that are without understanding. All right? So, you know, you may have been a time where you thought you was in this truth. You know, the wisdom, you know, you only call for the Lord to do whatever work and then the, the Lord cast out that Holy Spirit from you. All right. You know, because it's not going to stay and remain within a malicious soul. And it says that uh, and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness come in. You know, some of that unrighteousness is obviously, you know, different wicked thoughts are outside of, of the temple of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right. When well, you going in, into the, some, some other stuff. The mother doctrine, all right? Missiles don't exist. Babylon is Vatican City, 
Uh, the, the Lord, uh, there ain't gonna be no Jacob trouble, stuff like that. W wickedness. I don't know if I got something else. <coughs> you can't. Um, this is, um, <coughs> sorry. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. God, you can break God. so in, in his faith and his truth, you gotta constantly be, you know,